Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Alicia back at y'all with another video and whatnot. And I am here to share the oh so joyous news that I'm still pregnant. <laughs> yes, I am. 40 weeks and some change, depending on when I actually um, post this video. But I am within the 40 week mark of this pregnancy and I am tired. If you can't tell, by my face, I am tired. Your girl is beats, okay? Um, third time around, uh, we have a little girl, I have a little boy. This one will be a boy as well. And baby boy is taking me through. Like, you don't understand. And so I, I figured I would come on here and just kind of vent a little bit about, and, and, and let you guys in on the 40th week of pregnancy and what may be coming next <laughs> and how I'm just feeling about everything. Now I don't want this to come off as like me complaining like oh my gosh I'm, oh my, I'm just ugh. Like no. It's, it's me sharing my experience. I feel very blessed to be able to carry my own child for this long. I'm not complaining at all, but I do have frustrations, as many moms do, as many pregnant moms do. So before y'all get in my comments, talking all that mess, talking spicy, pause it. This is this is not that, okay? <laughs> let, let me peep the stomach, though. Let's peep, peep the stomach. There we go. Y'all see this tummy? Oh, listen. The baby is heavy. I don't care what nobody say. This baby gonna be big. <laughs> I do have issues with like I guess framework like skeletal wise like I I do have scoliosis a mild case of scoliosis and I did have my my last labor was very quick it's called a precipitous labor um, from first contraction to delivery was like three hours if you don't know that story Go check out the video. Me and the hubby go into detail about that. <laughs> I go to a chiropractor and everything like that. I've been going to a chiropractor since my pregnancy with my last child. And she explained to me the reason why I'm probably having so many issues. Like my hip. I have a lot of um, sciatic issues. Um, hip flexor issues just on the right side. <laughs> and... Uh, she explained, well, the reason for that could be not only because of your scoliosis, but also because you had such a rushed uh, labor. So it could have jostled some things out of place. And so I understand, but it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It's just so hard. And on top of that, it's just I'm not as mobile as I would like to be or as I am normally I have to I have to take my time around the house. Like I would love to go walking, trying to walk this baby down. Last pregnancy, I was walking this baby down. I was playing tennis it's up until I was seven, eight months. And I couldn't do that with this baby. I had to slow down starting like six months, five months, just because my body felt different. And I know with every pregnancy it's different. Even with the same mom, it's every pregnancy is different. And this is definitely third time charm. I, I get it. I feel like I have to put extra effort into everything. And it's very frustrating. And that brings, mentally, that brings me personally, brings me down. And um, which actually brings me to my next point of the anxiety that goes into hitting your due date and then letting it pass or seeing it pass. And I, I understand, I, I know, this is, like I said, third time around. I know that this pregnancy, um, I know that with any pregnancy, the due date is just a guesstimate. It's not like, oh, boom. Unless you had a scheduled C-section or something like that, you're not guaranteed that date. Uh, especially since I'm going natural. Uh, midwives are, they, they are very adamant about um, letting the body do what the body's gonna do because I'm going natural, trying this water birth again. Hopefully, I make it to the water this time. Um, uh, but it's just a matter of us waiting and seeing what my body's gonna do. Uh, 
because in the words of my midwife, you were your, your body knows what to do. It's it was born to do this. Women's body's been doing this for years, for millennia. And I'm just like, okay, girl. But I'm tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. It's it's just a, such a mental game because you know what you want. Like your body is just me. I know what I want. I want a healthy baby. I want to be able to be mobile again. I want to be able to lay on my stomach. Like, I, I want to go to sleep like this. Like, yeah, I want to go to sleep like that. But I can't because of baby. And of course, I want to make sure that um, baby boy is healthy and happy and everything is, is pristine when he comes out. But it's it's still very frustrating and very tiring and i try not to work myself up mentally and and everything but luckily i have built a um a support system around me that helps to keep me grounded a bit like i have a black doula i have a black midwife i have a black chiropractor i have a black therapist okay <laughs> everybody and then i have my family my, my my kids and i have my husband and like i have supportive neighbors across the way and it's just it's it's good to have that type of support system especially when people will know what they're talking about because like i said it's a mental game and if you're in this by yourself and you don't have that support it can take a legit toll on you. It can it can be very, very, very bad for you mentally, which would then affect baby. And you don't want that. You want a happy, healthy baby, a happy, healthy pregnancy as much as you possibly can. And so that's why I, I do my best to rest. I try to keep my mind off of me being 40 plus weeks pregnant. And as the days go on, your pregnancy, just continues to progress you're 41 or oh, you're 40 weeks 41 weeks about to hit 42 weeks you got those people that always been in your ear are you still pregnant okay oh, ain't your due date passed are you being induced no i'm not being induced and i answer all these questions multiple times and then the question comes up oh natural you ain't going to get to go to the hospital for no drug no, that's because that's my choice. I don't want to. I I had a, some. I felt some type of way about my experience at in, at the hospital with my first child. The second child, I wanted to do it the natural way. Didn't happen quite the way I expected. But this time, I want to have a different experience. I'm not going to a hospital. So get off your high horse. Don't judge me. Don't judge no none of these mamas that want to do that. That's their choice, just like it's, it's some of y'all's choice to go to a hospital, to get shot up in the arm, whatever. That's, that's you. No shade to each his own. Everybody got their own reasons. But that, it, it just is so annoying. It's so annoying. So for, if you are the type of person to get on a soapbox and try to, 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 talk, to talk to a mama who is 40, no, who is pregnant, Period. Hormones is already through the roof. If you are that type of person at all, shut your mouth. Don't do it. I will tell you, it, it's it's very frustrating for the mother to hear, especially when the mother is overdue. They don't want to hear none of that noise you got. None of it. They don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. And it's, it's just, it's so annoying. And then they have the suggestions. Oh, did you go walking? Do you eat pineapples? Have you had anything spicy? Are you having the sex? Ma'am. Sir. Please leave me alone. <laughs> please leave me alone. If my body does is not ready to have this baby, or if the baby is not ready to come out, ain't nothing you can do to get this baby out beforehand. And you may think, if you're one of those people that ask, you may think, oh, it's harmless, but you have to understand, mommy been walking around with this belly for nine months, 10 months. She gets this question from everybody that knows her and knows that she has been pregnant. It's annoying, so stop it. But I'm just saying, it just contributes to, continues to, it continues to contribute to 
anxiety for me. I'm not, I, again, I can't speak for everybody, but it continues to contribute to anxiety for me. And I, I'm, I'm just so, I'm so ready to have this baby. I'm just so over, I'm so done. <laughs> And I even, I thought I had a false, false alarm a couple days ago. I was having contractions. Uh, what I thought were contractions uh, a few days ago. So I called my doula, called my midwife, and they were like, yeah, you can go ahead and come on in. We can check you out and see how, how far along you are. And we were there for two hours and I had two contractions. And I'm just like, really? Really? I, I know, I I know, I know I was on this couch having contractions and then all of a sudden we chilling at the birth center and my body was like, nope, psych. The baby was like, nope, psych. We not ready yet. Uh, I love them down. They, Mozique and Iana are, are my doulas. My, my, Mozique is my midwife and Iana is my doula and they are just everything they're this everything I, I if I could give them to every mother I knew or every expected mother I knew I would but they they are they're so good at just kind of keeping me just focused is they're so good at it and then my husband on the side he's just like I told you <laughs> I told you this one <laughs> Because it's it's I, I'm I'm so anxious and I want to make sure that I I'm ahead of the curve because I don't want to be left behind or I don't want to wait till the last minute like I did with my son and end up not having the birth go as as planned <laughs> and so it's it's just a lot and it's a it's a lot to deal with all the time to get. All this stuff coming from the outside, having to deal with your own hormonal imbalances and, and fluctuations, and fluctuations probably is a better word than balance. But it's it's just a lot for a pregnant mother to deal with. It's a lot for me to deal with. So as of right now, we are just playing the waiting game. I we can't really do anything as far as inducing or. Um, Inducing meaning like taking a midwife's brew uh, until I'm 41 and some change. Uh, my midwife was like, "Don't, don't even ask me about that. We're gonna figure out. We're gonna figure out if your body's gonna get it moving by itself, or uh, and if not, then we'll go ahead and we'll implement the uh, the last plan. That's the midwife's brew. It's just, it's I'm I'm anxious to." To meet my baby, I'm anxious to get my my just my mobility back. It's not even like physically my body back. I just I want to be able to get back to me. Like I I I am just I don't I don't feel like me right now. I feel very just very heavy and just uncomfortable. I know I haven't really documented this pregnancy too much, but I was just kind of enjoying the ride but now it's the ride is seemingly coming to an end so I just wanted to let you guys in on it I do plan on posting some videos some other videos regarding my pregnancy so stay tuned for that uh, but until then like share subscribe hit that bell for that ding for notifications so you know you can see my pretty face on the camera when I post a video for y'all and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.